Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my Aluminum Crate box for the month of December. This has been delayed for a long time now, but we finally have it. So yeah, let's just go ahead and open it. So there's that. So this month, um, the December theme was better together. So we just have this photo card here. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing here is a chain pin set, which is inspired by the Jasmine Throne. So let's go ahead and see how this looks like. Um, I like receiving number of pins and um, boxes. I don't really mind them. And this one is very, very pretty. Um, I think the design is really pretty. And I really love this concept with the chain. I think it's pretty cool and it's beautiful and this was designed by no one designs and i love it so i'm pretty happy with that so the next thing we have is a mug which i like receiving mugs and subscription boxes so i'm pretty happy um so yeah and this seems to be inspired by i think the, the Achilles, songs of achilles and this is also designed by Rosie Thorns 88 which they normally do all of their mugs for Lone Crate. So here it is. And we have the mug here, which again, it's just beautiful. I love all of the mugs that Rosie Thorns um, designed. They're just all so beautiful. And I'm pretty happy with this. It's really, really cute. Um, and I like receiving the mugs and these aluminum crate boxes. Um, yeah, I really love this item. So, yeah. And then the next thing we have is a jewelry travel case, which is inspired by Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass. Um, I'm not really happy with this item just because I don't really have a use for a jewelry box. But, um, also just could really receive one in Fairy Loot and also Owl Crate. So this is my third jewelry box. So I just don't need any more. Actually, I think I might have gotten one from the bookish box as well. So, yeah. But it's, it's still really nice. So I like the velvet touch to this and then the little crescent moon here. Um, so it says Griffin Antiques, which is from the book. I only read the first book in the Crescent City series, so, um, yeah, I still gotta read the second one, but it is really pretty, and I do like the item, it's good quality, and the design is nice, um, I just don't have any use for it, but it is really nice. Alright, so the next item we have is a desk calendar, um, and it's March, so, um, I didn't get it really sucks because I know in the UK they receive their boxes on time, but here in the US and Canada it's now March and we're not just receiving this, so we don't even get to get like a full use of this. Um, but whatever. Um, so we have a January here. I'm gonna put the whatever book the art is inspired on the screen so that way we will know each character's. I'm not really sure. Um, so that's February. I will say the art on here is extremely beautiful. So we have March here, which is great. And then we have April. Like honestly, they did such a great job with the um, with the artist, the artwork and stuff. The character artwork and stuff is really, really pretty. Um, we have May. Um, yeah, I really like this. It kind of sucks that we didn't get this and get to use it for January and February. Then we have June, July. I know this one is from the Danny, like one of those, the one of the brown sisters. <laughs> um, we have August. Really nice. I really like them. They're really nice. Um, September. And then we have October, November, which is my birthday month. And then lastly, we have December. So 
so yeah, that's the calendar thing. Um, sucks that we won't get to use February and January, but that's okay. Um, then we have the actual book, and I also hate how now the boxes that are shipped from the US, they're gonna be shrink wrap and not in their um, yellow bag sleeves that they do. Which is kind of disappointing, to be honest, but, um, oh well, I guess we're going to stick with this. Um, it's fine, it's not big deal, but it kind of sucks, to be honest, but, anyways, this book, this month's book is The Red Scholar's Wake, um, beautiful cover, and it's written by Elliot D. Board, um, so, yeah, and then we have Solid spray block spray edges on top and bottom, and then we just have a ombre on the actual spray edge there. I'm generally generally not a big fan of ombre spray edges, but this one is okay. At least this one looks good together. Um, we have a signed book plate there, and. Let's go ahead and take off the dust jacket. No reversible artwork on the dust jacket there. We have some nice folding on the cover here. And yeah, and then nothing on the back. Okay, and then we have some nice artwork on the end pages and they are different actually which is surprisingly for Illumicrate they usually like to do the same artwork on the end pages but they are different which I do like I like this one more but yeah um and that's everything for the month of December for this month's box um I'm pretty happy with the items this month and I think the book is pretty so I mean overall I'm pretty happy it's just um, the jewelry box that I don't care for, the calendar, um, I do like, but we didn't get to use from January and March, I mean February, so that kind of sucks, but whatever, um, I love the mug, I love the pen, and I think that's it, so, yeah, yeah, <laughs> anyways, let me know your guys your thoughts on the actual book and the item, and I'll see you guys in my next video, hopefully the February box will come and pretty shortly but yeah thanks for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys